Do you wish to upgrade your old Windows 10 to the new Windows 11, but have been wondering if your PC meets the requirements of this new Windows? Here's how to find out if your PC meets the requirements, and how to upgrade, and if your PC does not meet the requirements, I will teach you how to go about it, and be able to upgrade with your low-spec PC. Click on the search bar and type in Windows Update Settings, and open. Here, you can find optional quality update available for your current Windows, and also there will be an info on whether your PC meets the requirements or not. As you can see, it states this PC doesn't currently meet the requirements to run Windows 11. You can get the details and see if there are things you can do in the PC Health Check app to help your PC run it by clicking on the Get PC Health Check and installing it. This app will give you every information about your PC, from the size for your RAM to your storage, your battery capacity, storage capacity, and even the number of years your PC has been since date of manufacture. It also has a Windows Backup and Windows Update option. To find out what your PC lacks which makes it low spec to run the Windows, click on check now to see if there are things you can do to, and if not, you'll keep getting Windows 10 updates. From here, it shows my PC must support Secure Boot, TMP, 2.0 must be supported and enabled on the PC, but the only issue is my processor is currently not supported for Windows 11. There are more informations you can get from here. Be sure to read through to know help to fix your PC if possible. You can click on learn more to give you all the details and requirements on the specifications on Windows 11.
Now that I don't meet the requirement, here is how to get Windows 11 installed with same or similar problem. Open Google on your web browser and type in Windows 11 download. Click on the Microsoft official website link. On this website we can download Windows 11. There are three options below for installing or creating Windows 11 media. Check out each one to determine the best option for you. Before installing, please refer to the PC Health Check app to confirm your device meets the minimum system requirements for Windows 11 and check the Windows release information status for known issues that may affect your device. For the first option, this is the Windows 11 installation assistant. This is the best option for installing Windows 11 on the device I'm currently using. Click download now to get started if you want this option. You can also click on the link above the download button to learn more about this option. Let's try to see if it'll work for my PC. You can see it says this PC doesn't meet the minimum system requirements to install Windows 11. So let's move on to the second option. With the second option, you can create Windows 11 installation media. If you want to perform a reinstall or clean install of Windows 11 on a new or used PC, use this option to download the media creation tool to make a bootable USB or DVD. Let's download the third option. With this option you can download Windows 11 Disk Image ISO for x64 devices. This option is for users that want to create a bootable installation media USB flash drive or DVD or create a virtual machine. ISO file to install Windows 11. This download is a multi-edition ISO which uses your product key to unlock the correct edition. Personally, this is my favorite and best option I like to use. Follow the steps as shown in the video to download, run a bootable USB media, and also install. There are full video made on how to download the Windows 11 ISO file how to make bootable USB media drive, and also a full video on how to install Windows. I'll leave the links to these videos in the description below. Once downloaded, download Rufus USB bootable and use it for your bootable media.